Hey everybody and welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name is Mary. Now today I'm going to be talking vintage book covers. Um, I just love book covers. If you watch my channel, you know I absolutely adore book covers. Sometimes I even read a book just based on the cover alone, just because. I love it. I love the book covers. But I was going through my books on my shelf and trying to organize, you know, because you know, as well as I do, when you read a lot, books get shuffled, um, just thrown here, thrown there. And I was trying to organize them a little bit. Um, and I was looking at Kathleen Wilbus's books. Um, and I realized that with some of my books, either have, you know, the newer covers or they have nothing really interesting, just boring cover. So I decided I'm going to go look and see if I can, you know, find the older covers, you know, because her books first started being released in what, like 1970. So, you know, I wanted to look for those covers and see if I could find some of the vintage covers because I just adore them. And that's what I did. So I thought I would share. Um, obviously, I don't have all of those covers of my books, so I will put them on the screen. But I'm going to start with... Um, the Flame and the Flower by Kathleen, which is what she's best known for. Um, this book, what, uh, when was this one? 1972. Wow. Um, it's a long time ago. But I have this one, um, and it's somewhat reminiscent of the original cover. But I will put the original cover up here. But Flame and the Flower, which started it all for her, um, I just adore this book. But we're talking covers today, so I'm going to put the, the cover up on the screen. Um, again, I just, I just love these covers. But anyway, this is The Flame and the Flower, and I will put the original cover up there because I want, wanted to share the vintage covers. The second book by Kathleen, which I believe is the second book, I'm going to try to keep them in order, was The Wolf and the Dove, which was originally released, released in 1974. Um, obviously, this is not the original cover, um, you know, with Aislinn and Wolfgar. I love this book, um, named my daughter Aislinn, but I noticed some people really hated this book. It's, it's funny how that happens, right? That um, some people love it, some people hate it. Everyone reads different interpretations, but um, I did enjoy the book. It is one of my favorites, um, but... Um, again, this is covers, and the original cover will be up beside me. Um, I just wanted to share the original covers today. That uh, was my main goal with this, so I could talk all day about these books. I really could. But I'm going to move on before I do. Okay, the next book by Kathleen was Shanna. Uh, again, this is one she's very well known for, and obviously I do not have... Um, the original cover on this one that's why I went searching and again you, you just I just love the the pictures of the characters of the books because it just gives me an idea um, which way to build them in my mind you know when it comes to what they look like and so I do like to have you know people on my covers so but at the time I guess when I was reading this is what I got so but I will put those covers up here because again today's video is about covers so the next book, um, I believe is Ashes in the Wind, um, 1979. And I do have, I believe, one of the original covers. Um, I know the paperback cover, I think is just th this picture, but you know, again, one of my favorite covers um, in this one, because I, I really think that as I read the book that um, the characters described in it were very well depicted as in as in this picture. So one of my absolute favorites, as you know, because I've done a video on this one, one of my absolute favorite books by her. Loved it. But covers today. And let's see, what was the next one? I kind of tried to keep them in order here. Um, Come Love a Stranger. And again, I do not have um, the cover to this one. You know, but it was one of my favorite ones. I did like Larry Ann. Um, it was one of my favorite books. Um, one of my favorite plot stories, um, I must say, by her was Come Love a Stranger. 
and once I looked at the cover for this, you know, I just loved it. So um, again, I'll put it up here, but I did just love this cover. And I'm sorry, I don't have it. It almost makes me want to go look it up and find them and, you know, buy them. But I don't think I'll do that. But one of my favorite books by her, plot-wise, um, A Rose in the Winter, which I do have <laughs> the original cover. And again, I've done a, done a video on this one. I love this story. Um, absolutely loved Arianne. Loved this. Um, again, one of my favorite stories and one of my favorite covers ever um i just i just love the way um they're depicted here i do i just adore it so this is this cover um which i'm fortunate enough to have so we had a rose in the winter um so worthy my love which was another one that i do not have the cover for but i will put it up here and it was another very good cover um it was just beautiful and again, sorry, I don't have it. Um, I've read this one several, several times, you know, with Maxim and Elise. And, and I do, again, I love all her books. Um, I really do. I love her early, earlier ones more. Um, but I love all of her work. But again, covers, keep it in your mind there, Mary. Covers today. So that was that one. Um, then we had Forever in Your Embrace here um just look at that just just love these covers i don't know why but i just adore them and i just i just love them i i know some people you know again they they don't think much of covers but for me a cover can you know make me grab a book in a heartbeat but this is forever in your embrace um which i believe was 1992 wow um yeah, this is one of her early ones. Yeah, 1992. Um, love it. Love it. So, then we start, um, again, going back to um, her first book, The Flame and the Flower. And then we get into um, Petals on the River. Now, of course, this is the, it's the original cover. I went out and bought it right away. So, I know it's the original cover. Um it's a very nice cover. Um, I do like this. You know, so that one's that one. I know these aren't, you know, as old as the other covers that, um, that I've showed, but, you know, the Elusive Flame, you know, kind of get the same pattern going on in here um, with them down here. And A Season Beyond a Kiss. You know, this was 2000. But... Got a good insert cover there like that um, again you know she went back you know to to the um, to the burning Birmingham's and you know all of these books and I just truly enjoyed them all so so I have them all but those are those covers now the next two books were her um, obviously her newest books um, the reluctant suitor which was 2003 um, kind of bummed that's what they put on the inside you know and it kind of got um, obviously this is not an exciting cover at least I don't think so I mean it's um, but you know it's a story that counts right but and it was a good story Kathleen Wilbus never writes a bad story at least not to me I know reading reviews some people have differing differing opinions that's fine um, but I absolutely loved all of her books and then we have Everlasting, the last book by her, um, which cover for that. It's the original cover, obviously, because it was released in 2007. Um, and as you know, it was not near um, the size of the books she normally writes. But I still did enjoy this book, um, as I did all of her stories. And I'm sad that we don't get any more from her because, again... You know, and I'm still searching. You know, I, I've been reading a lot of my Kindle trying to find new authors um, that give me that same um, reading, uh, just enthusiasm where you go back and read and read again. Um, people like Kathleen. Uh, and I, you know, have so far not had much luck. 
So if you know an author that has the same style writing as Kathleen, um, please let me know because I'm really looking for, for this style of writing um, in another author. And I know there's lots of ones like uh, Kimberly Cates and stuff, love her, um, that has a similar style, but there's still something in the way Kathleen writes that I'm still searching for in another author. So if you know one, please let me know because you know I would really enjoy reading um, an author that has a similar writing style as her. Now that I've went through all of the books and I've rambled and went off topic, um, I'm gonna go, but I just wanted to share those book covers because I love book covers and maybe there's somebody out there that loves them as much as I do. So with that, you know, hey you guys, take care of yourself and happy reading.